Hi everyone, welcome to my plant vlog. How are y'all doing? Um, my name is Blue Phoenix. I, if you're new here, I make a, uh, a fun plant vlog on Wednesdays, and I share what I do in my plant studio. So upcoming things and just uh, things I do like randomly and stuff like that. So, hellos. I found this in the clearance section little unicorn here and this is one of the uh, shingling raffidophoras so I'll, I'm going to show you all how to rescue this little one and then I also found some dogtail cactus exciting because I'm going to be like propagating you know and then um, I was out in the garden and then just picked up some white thyme and uh, propagations to make for my begonias And then I'm setting up for a uh, a plant care Tuesday video. So, okay, everybody. So here it is. So I just basically just suck them into soil, and they will take root. Give them about like one or two weeks, and they'll be fine. This is some time I just propagated. I also just cut it, um, and then just stick it into soil. Ill root um, to to like better help these root uh, these begonias. Uh, you could just cut the flowers off, and they'll um, so that way the energy doesn't have to go to the flower, and it'll go to uh, producing roots and more uh, sustainability for the plant. Good morning, everyone. How are y'all doing today? Welcome to my plant vlog. My name is Blue Phoenix. If y'all new here, welcome. Um, Today is a very special day. Uh, it is Marley's birthday. She is 13, and it's also um, our one year anniversary. So, thank you all so much for uh, helping us grow this far. We're gonna do a little happy birthday to Marley, and we're gonna get going with our day. Thank you again, everyone. Marley. Marley. Hi, Marley. Who's 13 today? Who's 13 today? Marley. Marley. Oh, look at that beautiful face. Who's a beautiful girl? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Marley. Happy birthday to you. And many more, big girl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I love you so much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Hi everyone, welcome to my vlog. Um, so I'm going to set up my little station outside so that way um, people can see it whenever they drive by and if anybody has any questions and I'll be out there setting up and everything. And um, So yeah. So I'm going to show y'all the process and show y'all what I do. So here are some of the plants that I'm going to be setting outside. I think today, um, oh look, there's a picture plant. Uh, today I'm going to do like free cuttings. So I'll, with every purchase, I'll give out a, a free Addisonia uh, cutting. So try to keep it kind of fun and uh, see what people like. <laughs> So if you, so if, I usually like have um, like sell items here and then I'll have like propagations and then um, also like featured uh, sale items from the store, um, herbs or vegetables that I usually sell as well. Um, I'm trying to get into more cacti and I've learned that I can propagate them so I'm propagating them and just pretty much like uh, selling them pretty portable uh, over here uh, locally, I'm trying that out first and then so that way I can start shipping them also 
So already, I'll, I'll, uh, you'll be seeing a, um, a propagation video of them um, coming up, so stay tuned for that. Um, and then I was doing this deal also, get three of these for like $25. <clears throat> these I grew out from like little wet sticks and so uh, they're growing really well. I keep them outside so they're acclimated to the outside. And then this all this uh, fiddly fig over here too, I grew from one of my propagations. Look at that new leaf right there. And this big leaf just, oh. So this one's really going to get big and huge. This is just one of my propagations as well. I really like the little flowers that it, that it makes. <clears throat> so, I'm not sure if this one can be pollinated, but if anybody needs help identifying uh, male and female flowers for pollinating begonias, uh, this is how you, you can identify them. Right over here, if you see this one right here, uh, this one is a male flower. It doesn't have the little, uh, like, fins in the back. And then these are female flowers. You see how they have those little fins in the back? And then, um, that's how they, uh, grow. I mean, that's how they... Uh, that's how you can identify a male and a female flower, is by the fins. And then, um, to pollinate, you just take, uh, one of the male flowers. And then you, oops. So you take one of the male flowers, and then... I'm grabbing that. So you'll take the. Oh, where you go? So you, there's pollen inside here. Inside this flower, this is a little bit hard to do, but I'm gonna try anyways. Uh, and then it would go in. It would like the pollen would. If you see this female flower over here. Um, you could just dap it like that, and then it'll um, produce, and then that's how you would like pollinate it. Sorry if that was a little bit of a struggle to film. Trying to see if maybe I could show you all that, but like in here, the male flower would have uh, the po the pollen, and then from there you would carry that over to the female flower, and then have that pollinated that way. And that's what I've been learning. Um, I'm just trying it anyways on them, seeing if it works. I don't know. I'm still figuring this out, but that's what I'm learning, and I just wanted to share that with y'all. So if y'all have any more um, information on that, I'd love some more um, information on the comment section. Definitely share that knowledge also, because I mean, I would love to start hybridizing and just having fun with, with begonias as well like that. Hi everyone, welcome. Today I'm in my plant studio. Um, uh, I'm packaging up an order of a staghorn fern uh, that I have for my plant studio. And uh, I'm gonna show you how I package it. Um, I've recently uh, invested a little bit more into shipping supplies. They're coming in um, a little bit slowly, but like the, um, I have something, some some more supplies now, so that way I could like ship a little bit better with um, any plants that you see that I post on my Instagram. So just a quick uh, rundown: the uh, the website that I that I run, Blue Lotus Life. You, it's it's um, it has like an extended shipping uh catalog and then i offer local uh purchases as well and then those local purchases i set on to my instagram uh for sale when they go on sale so that way um 
new people can uh, explore our shipping catalogs as well whenever they uh, see that we're posting new items and things like that. So, what I'm going to do I call them little like sandwich bags. So, so I just place these, this little guy in here. I will say, um, unfortunately, I cannot replace our cell items. Um, sometimes our cell items uh, are. I can't. Uh, I can't replace our cell items, but um, for our shipping catalog, if there's any issue with your order, um, that it, whenever you receive it, uh, just send me a picture, and then we'll work on replacing it. Sometimes it might take a little bit, but I am thorough about it, and I make sure that you know. You get what you receive, and uh, it's a fair purchase. So next, we're going to place this in here. Like this way it holds a plant and it also uh, doesn't cause any damage and I just stick a little uh, chopstick in here and then it goes into its own little plant sleeve Then from there we place them in here. There we go. So sometimes I just get creative and then I think of like, well what can I do to make this better? So, um, that's what I, I tend to do. I also purchase plants online, so... I guess, like, I try to go about this as the way that I would like to receive things, um, and for all around for like customer service and just the quality and how everything's going to be shipped. Normally I would have like stickers, but I ran out. Um, I went to a little vendor event and um, I just started passing them out. Uh, but I do have cards, so and then I have these, and then I have these uh, thank you cards uh, that I put put in here, um, so that way you get 25% off your order on our shipping catalog for 20 for fifty dollars and over. Um, that way you get to really explore the catalog and. We take care of you. We make sure that you know you get what you want, and if from the reviews, I really take care of my customers, and I want y'all all to be happy from what you receive from us. Apologies on the hair. My hair's all messy today. It's like a messy hair day. So a little. That's how it's. I package it, and then. Um, Cards. Hard to close, so. <laughs>
Oh no. You know what? I think I have an idea. Now I'm just gonna go to the post office and ship it over there. Thank you so much for supporting us. Um, I send out uh, discount codes to our email subscribers on my website. Um, sometimes I randomly send out uh, sell sell uh, our first announcements for sales and then also discount codes um, firsthand. So. Make sure to uh, subscribe to our email list and get your sell on with all of our plants. Um, I just really appreciate you all. I just really appreciate you all and supporting our channel, um, our growth, our business, everything. Like, I, you, you all are amazing. Thank you so much. Till tomorrow. Bye, everyone. The next day. All right. So as I was stepping out the door, I saw um, a box outside. I it's the it's our new. Um, plant that we're going to have available we have a limited supply of it so um, I think right now we have eight at the moment they grow a little slow so it's it, it they take a little bit to actually grow and acclimate um, This is our pitcher plant. They're pretty sensitive in uh, shipping, so you might see a little damage with them. Uh, but overall, like they're great. They'll they'll do fine after you just uh, let them acclimate to your home. has like a little picture there another one right over here that's so cute <laughs> and then this one right here so just a little unblo unboxing before I head out the door um, and I wanted to share this with y'all your your care requirements for your uh, ne uh, Nepenthes uh, pitcher plant would be a uh, high bright uh, direct light um, if they get and they like a lot of uh, humidity uh, they uh, also like to be uh, a little bit more on the moist side so kind of like treat it as if it was like a begonia uh, without without uh, so that way you don't like overwater it and stuff like that when it tends to overwater it will um, uh, start to cause some issues, but the Nepenthes once it starts to like acclimate to your home um, It'll be one of like your one of your most favorite plants. Um, I have an I have two Nepenthes that I grew from um, that I've actually rescued and I Just love seeing their growth. I love seeing their new pictures form and just overall like I'm enjoying this plant. I Hope you guys I hope you all will like this one just as much as I've enjoyed it and um, can learn a few things from it as well. Hi, Future Blue here. So I forgot to make an outro for my video. I just want to say I am very appreciative of everybody subscribing to my channel. 
Um, I want to say thank you all for supporting our plant shop. Our blog is always available for all of y'all to um, check out and need for any plant uh, care assistance with your orders or just uh, from our found knowledge. Y'all all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Uh, y'all take care. Bye, everyone. Thank you.